hi guys please tell me if my sound is okay so i just want to let you know that um i'm fine although we started to get some scary news from moscow this is very crazy if you have also some news you can um send me message I will wait until some people will join me. Oh, 42 people. So, hi, guys. I just wanted to jump on this um, on this live very quickly because um, because we are having a shooting in Moscow and this is, like, very crazy. <sighs> Hi guys, yeah. I don't know if you saw like recent news. This is like uh, uh, something crazy is happening, right? But I'm at home, I'm good. <laughs> so I just wanted to jump on this live. So I'm in my room. Yes, glad you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. Wow, the season news. Yes, this is crazy. I was like, I was like, I was filming a video today, guys. I was having such a nice day today. I I filmed like a very nice video for you. Like, uh, I've been traveling like around Moscow and something, and was filming video, and it was such a nice day today. Like. It was warm, it was like a blue sky and stuff, and I had such a pleasant day. Like, I have my phone here, I can show you pictures. Like, it, it was so positive. I went to, like, to the park. It was so nice, like this. <laughs> like a bright uh, and sunny spring day and this is this is crazy what is happening right now sorry everything is so complicated <laughs> yeah i'm very sorry i i want to also be on the news because i don't know what's happening actually I only thing I know is that there was a shooting in one of the like uh, concert halls, the Crocker City Hall. The place that I know is that um, it's kind of a famous uh, concert uh, hall for celebrities to rent it to do a, like a big concert for the um, music bands. It's very like popular place to go actually so now it's on fire it's completely like burning right now this is crazy and what's crazy is that like uh, <sighs> if we are having this shooting right now in moscow there are like a few people with guns and stuff like that walking around Moscow somewhere. Like, why is this happening after like five days after elections? Like, what the heck? I'm, I don't know. Like, this is crazy. Let me read your comments, guys. Thanks, God, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, the first thing I uh, my my first thing that I thought was like uh, call people from Moscow who I know to check is everything all right. And then the second thing I thought is like to let you know, guys, that I'm actually I'm here. <laughs> this is crazy. Let me read your comments. <laughs> wow, one, uh, 177 people watching. Take care. 
how many people killed i don't know this is so horrible american embassy warned about possible terrorist attack two weeks ago. yes and some people some subscribers from my channel they told me like uh please lisa don't go anywhere because it might be dangerous and like how do heck do you know this that i should not go anywhere how did you know that i heard about minimum 100 what this is this is like what is this this is so scary. Although I don't have a lot of like uh, friends and family in Moscow because as you know, guys, I'm not from here. I'm from the Far East. So I probably don't know any people who might be there because yeah, the news said is like uh, 40 people plus something and 100 injured it's just i don't know it's so scary what happened um moscow having a terrorist attack just now like one hour ago but i'm guys i'm all right i told you like i was uh, filming a video today i was in the park and then i went straight back home straight <sighs> terrible Can you show your local Russian news right now? I don't I don't know what official um official media says actually. What what is the like official resource in Russia right now? <laughs> because which uh, resource you can trust in Russia? I don't have a TV, <laughs> guys. I don't have TV. I have uh, only my like a computer, so I only read or watch my phone. So, Ria Novosti, like uh, official Russian Russian news. The first line says, uh, terrorist attack, Krakow City Hall, 40 people are victims. It I'm watching, I'm watching pictures. So the fire is big. The fire, the fire is massive. The ambulance is running. It's so freaking crazy. So it was supposed to be a music uh, band uh, concert today. Today is like Friday. Today is the busiest day for 
a party life for concerts, for theaters, for cinemas. It's 10 p.m. Friday. Everyone now is outside doing something, and this is freaking crazy. So City Croco City Hall, it's um, it's like it's not like a stadium size of concert hall. I never been there, but I know it can fit around um, maybe six thousand. Just now I heard it can fit six thousand five hundred people in this concert hall. So the probably the amount of people who were there maybe a few thousand because the concert haven't started yet, but it's supposed to be a music concert. So yeah, the fire is big. Let's update this crazy, crazy news. I just actually uh, happy that uh, someone like you can be together with me because I wanted to go to the music concert next month, but now I should reconsider to go anywhere, <laughs> which is very sad. I don't know, guys, what do you think? <sighs> Who were the people behind? Uh, nobody knows, guys. It just happened just now. There just some people with guns. Who knows? But the thing is that <laughs> how it is possible to people with guns being somewhere just um going inside a concert hall and doing this just like this in the middle of Friday. How is this even possible? I don't know. A terrorist attack like this has not happened in a lot of years. Yes, this is true. The last terrorist attacks we have like years ago it and I remember, like, we had the smallest one. It was some metro attacks. But it was never a big concert hall or something like this. Or crowd. I don't remember when it was last time. Thank you guys for your kind uh, comments. I, ju I just looked up the news. Wow. So, uh, yes, this is it. This is my, it was my reaction. I was like uh, spending my evening, like searching something on the internet. And then I uh, go to YouTube click like a uh, refresh page and then I see this and then and then I decided to do a quick live to tell you guys that I'm I'm okay yeah so right now I'm, I'm in Moscow so um I definitely should be more careful I will avoid to go anywhere because this is no safe.
in America we are used to such a thing. And this is not good. How you can be used to that when it can happen in any place? Why? Рад, что с тобой все нормально. Я рада, что с вами тоже все нормально. Просто я по-русски скажу, я не могу ничего сказать, потому что я не из Москвы, у меня здесь не так много друзей, всяких знакомых, и семья моя не здесь, так что... Наверное, я никого не знаю, кто мог бы быть там сейчас, потому, потому что у меня здесь не так много друзей. Лиза, are the highlights or those are those are not my real um, hair. Понятно, береги себя, спасибо. Надеюсь, у вас тоже все будет хорошо. Ну, давайте. В принципе, я не знаю, какие еще новости. Просто хотела сказать, что все со мной окей. Надеюсь, у вас тоже. Take care. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just a little bit tired today as well because I was uh, filming video today. So it will be up tomorrow if I will edit it. So yeah, I'm just a bit tired because I was out doing something. And uh, yeah, uh, my update about like my health situation, like I went to doctors, stuff like that. So I have a concern, like uh, I'm not getting better, but just slightly. So my version of what is happening to me is that Probably like I have uh, compression of my like neck, you know, like that the arteries in my neck, they are being like squeezed. So I need to do to, <laughs> to like the therapist doctor who can do like a massage and click head, maybe something like this. So like to check maybe like something is stuck there <laughs> like the bones maybe need to be fixed something like this because started to have a little um headache in the this side of my head so uh that's why i'm a bit tired because i still have a little uh, dizzy head and and started to have like a just a tiny headache so yeah The compression, if it's a compression problem, here a proctor. Yeah, like something like this, because I'm taking this medicine for, for blood circulation or something and for one week and um, it's not really getting away. But today I was actually trying to like really bend and really like to make my head hang like to to do it like to stretch it you know and then i just realized that this feeling is going away for a little bit and i think wow maybe that's a problem maybe that's um, because i started to have this gradually when I started to go to gym and uh, after maybe doing squats with some weights, but I never do heavy weights. Never, never, never. Because I know that my health is not that strong enough to, uh, to, do, to lift a very heavy weights. So I never do that. I do maximum like 10 kg. Of like a, like a bar with maybe five kilos and five kilos, okay? So 
and I, I do like squats, push ups. How do you call it? I never do heavy weights. So, and after a while, I started to feel like, oh, my head is dizzy a little bit. So, probably I just need to stretch my my spine and my neck and go to like a chiropractor or somewhat some some doctor so i will keep you updated go outside and hug people yes might be a good idea So guys, it's been 20 minutes and 208 people watching. I'm so happy that you are here and that I have actually someone to speak to in this crazy that I just went oh. I just went online and 200 people are here to join me. Thank you so much guys. Horrible news. But yeah, I'm all right. And um, I will edit a new video and I will upload it tomorrow. So. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I will uh, get back to watching news and like we'll check the situation. What a horrible evening because it was just a, such a pleasant Friday, like very nice spring day here in Moscow. So, so yeah, guys. Please be safe. I want to say something positive, but I don't think this year is going to be very positive, to be honest. But only, only each individual person, I think, can make the best for themselves to try to make their life better. But we cannot like just hope for nice, I don't know, nice environment around. It only depends on you, like, what you do. It's a very, like, weird time. It's very easy to <laughs> fall into depression and stuff like that. But, like, even though... It's a uh, very weird times. So we need to do what's best for to keep in yourself sane, to not get crazy. And I am, guys. You know, sometimes I, as I'm on YouTube, I open to many comments, mm, and I need to read also like a hateful comments and la 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 so you know this pressure pressure from this side pressure from this side this discussion about russia this discussion about like stuff and stuff so sometimes just like to like just disappear from this all because there is no safe place. <laughs> Only I feel like if you go to the forest and stay in a cabin in the woods, you will feel calm. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. My next video is tomorrow. Please be safe and fun. So I will see you tomorrow, guys. So bye-bye.